Hey everyone, Pastor Kerry here. As if 2020 hasn't dumped on us enough already, it had to go out like this. Now, I've been out here three times already to clear my own drive and walks and everything, but they haven't been by our street at all, so I'm still not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, by the time you see this, we will have been cleared out a few days and be out and about, but as I looked at this and thought about trying to get somewhere, I thought of how often in our lives we want to get out, we want to make progress, we want to move on, but that can't happen unless some of the things in our lives get plowed out of the way. So many times we keep things, we hold on to things, we dabble in, in ways where we just don't move on spiritually or we don't get serious with God or whatever, and there's just a lot of things that pile up in our lives and quite honestly, we want to move on. We want to make progress. Sometimes we wonder why we can't. It's because there's so many things in our life that haven't been plowed out of the way. We haven't let the Lord just, just uh, take to them and push them out. And maybe we hang on to them. Uh, maybe we, sometimes we don't even think about them being there. But sometimes we just can't make spiritual progress. It's because we need to let God take the plow of his spirit and just move some things out. We need to maybe make some uh, other decisions. We need to move on from maybe bitterness or unforgiveness or resentment or regret or whatever is in our past or just a lot of things. And as the new year starts, this is a great time uh, to move on, to just uh, let our lives, the Bible talks about when God comes in and cleans some things away, it'll be white as snow. There's some things we need to maybe uh, forgive ourselves of or forgive others. Uh, it's things we just need to move on from. And we're not going to make the progress we want to spiritually. We're not going to be able to move on in, in, in 2021 to some of the great things I believe God has in store for us as a church, but maybe uh, more so as individuals, unless we just remove some things from our lives. Get out. Let God clear that roadway. Uh, clear the things that block our minds. Clear the things that stand in the way of, uh, of us really maybe uh, exercising the disciplines that we need to spiritually to move on. I, I don't know what it might be in your life. But a lot of us have things we've just not uh, gotten rid of. We've not letting God push out of the way. And whatever that is, just like the snow in this street, we're not going to get out. We're not going to get anywhere until those things move. And so I just want to pray as we begin this new year that uh, we let God move some of those things out. So let me pray with you, whatever that may be in your life, that God needs to move this year so you can get on with him like never before. Lord, uh, we've all got some things in our lives that keep us from making the progress that we want to, that keep us from moving on spiritually, keep us from maybe getting into better relationships, from, from being more effective in ministry, whatever those things may be. Maybe there's certain disciplines, maybe there are issues in our past or regrets or re relationships or, or uh, uh, certain sins and, and uh, things we've held on to that we just haven't totally uh, let your spirit push out of our lives and, and cleanse us like the snow. God, whatever those things may be as this new year starts, I pray that we would let you move those things out of the way. We know what they are and, and chances are we know what we need to do to make things change. You've told us before uh, how we need to make some changes, how we need to get more serious in our commitment to you. Whatever it is, I pray that we would do those things and God, uh, you would just clear the pathway of our lives that we could move on once and for all because we know you've got great things in store for us this next year. We're coming off some pretty tough things. It may not be easy for a while, but God, we know greater things are in store and we want to see those things, God. So move out of the way, whatever it is that may be holding those things back in our individual lives and, and Lord, so we can move on ourselves and move on as a church as you want us to. And we'll give you the glory for it all. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you that things are always uh, new and fresh. Your mercies are new every morning. We don't need the beginning of a new year, God, because uh, every day with you, as we come to you, we can, we can start fresh. But God, let us, let us just be ready to move on. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, uh, we're getting ready for a great new year. Hopefully, we don't see too much more of this. But uh, if it does happen, just let it remind you, keep uh, the roadways and pathways of your lives cleared so that God can take you wherever he wants to take you in 2021 and beyond. And uh, anyway, the Lord bless you. We'll see you soon.